If you think about a, a robot, you usually think about a complete humanoid made of metal. And this is very good if you want to do repeated tasks. While when you use a soft robot, you can deal with more uncertain environments. Unknown objects can be touched without uh, damaging them. If you look at uh, soft robots, uh, maybe you also recognize an animal or a biological structure. Using soft materials to build your robot is something that is completely new, so a completely revolutionary framework should be developed. The most paradigmatic, probably, animal that could be uh, an inspiration for soft robots is the octopus. Because the octopus completely lacks from any kind of rigid part, any bones. From eyes of a roboticist, this is amazing because you, you see a completely soft animal and you see what is able to do and you want to do it as well. <laughs> so at the very beginning of the project we were sure it would have been very crazy. <laughs> I mean, no solutions were available at that time. What we did was to translate what we understood from the arm into uh, an artificial platform. The idea was to replicate the main uh, features and bundle muscle that they have. And here you can see there are three cables so that if one of them is pulled, what is obtained is a shortening of the arm, with, of course, with a curl. If you pull all the, the cables together, you have only a shortening without any kind of bend. The octopus arm has been designed to work in water, so the best way to see the performances of the arm is to see it operating underwater. So the first time when we saw the, the arm inside water, we were amazed by the fact that the motion is so smooth and the behavior of the prototype that is much closer to the natural counterpart. In fact, by putting an object that is very close to the surface of the arm, it automatically adapts to the position of the object. This um, ability of motion omnidirectionally and of being able to exert forces is also interesting in the medical field, in particular in robotic surgery. We share the inspiration with uh, the Octopus project because we are actually uh, inspired by the Octopus tentacle. We want to perform a minimal invasive surgical procedure with that arm. This is a part of the tentacle where you can see all the functionality and especially the fact it's really squeezable and soft. But if uh, we take out the hair, then the section is uh, stiffer and it cannot be easily deformed anymore. Uh, now we see a manipulator which is made up of two segments uh, which can steer in all the direction and also elongate. This is a standard training box for uh, training surgeons. Surgeon tried this, uh, this system and they actually perform a surgical operation using uh, the view from the soft robot. I actually see surgeons uh, really happy to have the possibility to see uh, some surgical uh, targets from uh, that point of view because with the rigid instruments they couldn't reach uh, certain points. So maybe one day it will be really employed in, in a surgical operation, but uh, there's still a lot of uh, challenge to be, to be faced before. Actually, the, um, what I see for the future, I hope very near, is the fusion of soft robots with traditional robots. I don't see a, a challenge between them, but a cooperation. We see a robot, let's say, near everyone. In the future, I would like to have a robot, uh, I mean, close to me. <laughs>